in a world where we have been digging on all mahogany small body guitars, I finally have what some may consider to be the ultimate small body mahogany guitar, the Guild M20, made in the USA. I'm gonna tell you why I like it so much. Stick around. How's it going, y'all? My name is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, like the stuff, comment on it, all of that. And uh, let's get into some guitar action. So I have got an M20 here. Uh, you have seen throughout this year and pretty much the life, uh, lifespan of this channel, we have talked about all kinds of all mahogany guitars, why everybody needs one, what the best one is. And this is probably the biggest missing link to that entire chain of videos. Um, this is the M20 from Guild. Now, we have talked about the M120. We have talked about the D120, um, you know, small body. I believe we've talked about the OM120 as well. Those are import guitars from Guild. If you want to hear a comparison, after you hit the demo of this, I will link the other video um, in the description below where you can hear the M120. It is basically the same format, um, all solid mahogany. It's made in China, so it's a much more affordable version. However, when it comes to all solid wood, American-made acoustic guitars, this is a pretty affordable guitar. I think it's one of the best values. This is, I believe right now, $15.99, and that's the same price that you will pretty much pay for competitors such as the 0015M. The 0015M might be a little bit of, you know, maybe $100 here or there, either way, and everybody's changing their prices. But as far as all solid mahogany guitars go, this one is priced right and it is built right. Many of you, this is not a new guitar either. It's just new to our store. We have not stocked these before and it's been really hard to get a hold of them because Guild USA does uh, a really good job of making great guitars and they sell all over the place. So we've gotten D40s in this year, D55s, um, D20s, all those great all solid wood American dreadnoughts. This is the first non-dreadnought, I guess we had the F55, that's a jumbo. This is the first small body that we've gotten in from Guild USA. And it has been much anticipated by me because many of you know this as the Nick Drake guitar. This is the one that he was uh, photographed with on the brighter later album cover Nick Drake great singer songwriter if you have not heard the album Pink Moon go check it out it is one of my mom's favorites and so you will get to know her and me and my family's vibe through that record it's a great album and I like Nick Drake a lot but this guitar kind of became famous for that Nick Drake album cover and I think a lot of people have you know, found that this guitar is an incredible piece when you want that all mahogany, great recording sound, all that stuff. Um, I really liked that M120, the import version from the Westerly collection. I've been waiting for the American version. And in the meantime, I watched all these other videos. I watched Tony Policastro's video, which I know a lot of you probably enjoy his stuff as well. He sung the praises of this guitar, and I know now that he was not lying. It's a great guitar, um, 24 and 3 quarters scale length, uh, 1 and 3 quarter inch nut width. It's got these 20 to 1 open gear tuners, which just fit the vibe. And otherwise, um, just a really, really simple guitar. Got a satin nitro finish. Um, and they do a really good job with the satin nitro, I think, some other brands not naming names. Some of the satin nitros have been just okay. This is a nice feel. It's almost kind of like a semi-gloss, um, not super rough, which I find a lot of satin nitros get. Um, I mean, you can hear it, but you cannot really tell that. It's a nice semi-gloss satin, which I really enjoy. Um, very small body. I would say that it's probably closest to a double O more so than a triple O, um, but Otherwise, I mean, super, super light and resonates great. You can see, we've talked about it before, but Guild's bracing on the inside, you know, it's very visible and it's absolutely spotless inside this guitar. 
the guitars that they're making in California right now are some of the best. I've loved all the dreadnoughts that we've gotten in and that uh, jumbo. So I'm gonna let you hear a little bit on the M20, a little uh, finger style jam, because I think it works best on this guitar. So check it out. <laughs> So there you have it. When it comes down to it, everybody, I think that's a collector that you, I mean, you want to get something of all flavors. Um, everybody needs a small little all mahogany guitar. We've talked about some great ones. I already mentioned those uh, Martins, the 0015M, 0015M. Um, there's some great options from Taylor now, the 8022E, uh, even smaller, the GTE mahogany. All great options. It's just nice to have another one with a whole different kind of personality. I think this one screams that California 1960s, 1970s kind of feel to me, which Laurel Canyon, you know, it's it's a great sound to try to emulate in a guitar. And this has that really mid-rangey, but dry and uh, transparent resonant tone uh, that some may call woody. And that's, I mean, the words that we use on uh, guitar YouTube to describe sounds are pretty ridiculous and I'm tired of hearing a lot of them, but when it comes down to it, you gotta choose the right words and this one to me is a woody tone. And I think that, you know, you can probably hear that in the demo and those of you who kind of get what I'm saying, it's, it's a good sound to strive for. Um, it is ready to go, it does not have electronics, but it's ready to go. Uh, for your anthem or your K&K &K or whatever you would like to put in there. Um, and I think it would be a great stage guitar with the volume output, the kind of EQ that you're getting out of this, a nice condenser mic on there, which is exactly how it was recorded today. Um, you know, we used a WA-47 Junior. A nice condenser mic in this guitar will, you know, be a perfect formula to make some acoustic music in a home studio or in a professional studio, wherever you're at. But if you are a finger style or blues or even kind of jazzy folk singer songwriter, anything that you like um, that has that kind of mellow tone, I think this would be the perfect thing. So um, everything that I've seen before about these guitars, it all came true. It's a great option. I love Guild right now. I think that they have just been making some of the most understated and, um, you know, really impressive guitars. So if you wanna learn more about the M20, if you like the sound, you like the vibe, you want something that's about half the price, M120 um, from the Westerly Collection, anything from Guild that we've got right now will be found on the website. So check this one out if you want a Dreadnought in the same exact kind of appointment spec sort of range. 
the D20 is perfect as well. We've got some of those, we haven't got to do a video on them yet, but D20, D40, D55, they're all in stock right now. And I cannot vouch for a Guild USA acoustic enough. I think they're fantastic. So check out the website. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great holiday season, and we'll see you next time.